Joe McKenzie here. I'm feeling a little bit sociable today, which is pretty unusual for me. So I thought anyway that I would kind of bring you up to date on what's been happening here. A lot has been happening here. One of the things that's happened is we've gotten a new collie puppy and I will insert his, I'll insert her picture here above me or probably over there. Her name is Callie, so in order to remember her name, just remember Callie the Collie. So it's Collie, but with an A in the middle. She's about seven months old, smart as a whip, and um, we're really happy to have her. Our decision to get a puppy was because we've had many rescue dogs in the past, quite a few of them, and more recently ones that either had behavioral problems and physical problems. And we understand that completely, but we've had to say goodbye too quickly in recent years and so we decided to take in a young dog that we would not have to say goodbye too quickly that was our thinking behind that we'll see whether that that works out or not but right now it's kind of fun i'm watching youtube i'm watching all of these different videos on how to train a puppy because it's been a very long time since i've trained a puppy and i'm learning a lot so that's what's happening there the other thing i wanted to share is i won an award now, I've never won an award for painting before. I've never won an award for anything. Well, that's not exactly true. I won an award once for writing an essay, which I don't remember writing at all. <laughs> uh, but I do remember the prize. The prize was a red, white, and blue pen, which at that time in my life was pretty cool. But I wish I had remembered what it was for. But this was for painting and I received it from the Vermont Watercolor Society and it was for a figurative painting that I entered into a show that they're currently having and I'll insert that picture here. So I was thrilled to win an award. Maybe people win lots of awards and so they're, they, they're sort of like they get uh, used to it or something. I don't think I would ever get used to it. But I have to admit I've never won an award before for painting and it might be because I've never entered anything. There might be a correlation there. There was that old lottery saying, you know, you have to, um, what was it, you have to play to win? Yeah, you have to play to win. Anyway, you have to enter if you have any hope of winning an award. So I was kind of tickled about that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to share was I had bought this set of six all different colored cups really wildly colored, almost clown colored in a way, but I really love the shape of them. And I'm putting them into different configurations in order to create paintings. And if you see my YouTube channel, you've seen I've done a few videos of what I'm calling happy cups. They're really kind of fun. And as the sun disappears in the November sky, I find that I'm looking for color and brightness. I did bring out my different Christmas bulbs or ornaments, I guess you call them, because I tend to like to paint glowy or reflective things this time of year. The other thing that I wanted to share is, oh, I want to share this. Yeah, this, this thing, which is um, along with the award came a little bit of a cash bonus. And that was, I was tickled about that. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> I'm so used to, to not receiving cash bonuses for anything. So the other thing I wanted to share is I have purchased these. These are Luminera. Luminera. They make all different kinds of brands of these, Luminera types of candles. Anyway, they're battery powered, but they look very real. Doesn't that look significantly real? And again, because November light is so fugitive, I like to have some light around the house. So I have these strategically placed and I just think they're very clever because I tend to really worry about fire. We have a wood fire here. And the minute I start smelling smoke in the house for some reason, I, I am the human smoke detector. I will, I will uh, notice right away and, and need to find the source. And a lot of that is because I'm a little bit of a nervous Nelly, but the other reason is because in order for the fire truck to get to our house, it would take them um, a considerable amount of time and there wouldn't be a water resource for them once they got here. So we've always thought, sort of thought, well, um, we would probably have to watch our house burn down. That's a pretty sad note to end on. The point was <laughs> that these are very, very safe. And we do take, uh, we have, we take very good care of our wood stove here and have um, fire extinguishers around and smoke detectors, of course. So we're gonna be just fine. I'm really not worried about it. So I also just wanted to know how your painting is going. You know, it's hard to keep it going in a regular way a lot of times. And I found that's what happened obviously when we got a puppy because one thing things that happens when you get a puppy is you use a lot of energy that you hadn't used before. And there's a tendency not to sleep through the night. You know, they are babies, they know nothing. And I'm gonna get up in the middle of the night if I sense there's a lot of movement. 
let the dog out and then let her back in. But so far she's really lovely and is learning very quickly. We need to have a lesson again today, but she's doing, well, we, have, we do a lesson every day. I try to get at least two lessons in a day. So that's what I wanted to do in terms of catching up. In terms of the future, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be painting. Well, I'm definitely gonna to look towards some reflective things because that happens to me every time this year, as I said before. But I would like to know how your painting's going and if there's specifically something that you'd like me to cover when it comes to this channel. So remember to keep the white to your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.